What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at the Black Tree virus once again, or the Black Tree disease, as it's called. Now, to be quite fair, I do not... I believe the episodes are down here. These are the Black Tree disease and everything like that. And uh, from looking up, we left off where the he is we thing happened, which is right here, right? And if you take a look here, it doesn't appear as if many episodes have come out. And a lot of people have been asking to look more into the black tree virus, but there has been some stuff that came out for it. And I'm going to be taking a look into it today. Uh, these videos are pretty much nothing to do with it, but it is about the creator. So if you want to go watch those to support the creator, Oh, actually, I think, is that about me? Wait, <laughs> hold on. I just saw a fucking like by me. That's my profile picture. <laughs> it's my profile picture. So yeah, they know I exist. They know I'm making videos on this. I'm walking, I'm looking at your account, damn it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in a pretty decent mood right now. Uh, mood's definitely increased. Dopamine levels are quite high. And we're going to be taking a look at some stuff. We got we got four slides we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, they also made a Ponytown account. So if you're interested in looking at that as well, just feel free to go do that. So let's take a look at some more of the Black Tree disease. Now, this here, right? I don't exactly know if it's an episode, but let's take a look here. My Little Pony Horror AU, The Black Tree Disease by Sarav Sarasvati. Sarasvati? Sarasvati. I don't know. Uh, we got Luna being absorbed. Pretty much all the ponies being absorbed by the Black Tree virus here. Luna's trying to use her magic. Wait, what? It's still alive, but how? It is, is it immune against my magic too? They terrify me. Crack, crack. I can't believe I'm fighting my own children. But I have to, it's for their own good. I do it for my children. I do it for my kingdom. Feeling a bit better now, so I decided to post episodes. Oh, these are actual episodes. Never mind, there is episodes. I was completely wrong. But yeah, that's a pretty nice little start. I like seeing Chrysalis on the good side of things for once because Chrysalis is my favorite villain. I swear to God. When I was a kid, I had a crush on, on Chrysalis. Things have changed, but I still have a lot of love for Chrysalis. Great character. All right. I hope I can hide here in the meantime. What are these things? What the? These things are alive? Come on, magic, work! God, even I almost broke my horn. At least I'm okay. But whatever that was, it was alive. Is that Shirley? Who is that? Jesus criminy. Yeah, is that Shirley? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, that's creepy. That's eerie. Next up. The black tree disease. How does it infect ponies and new mutation stages? Let's take a look. How the root ponies infect a healthy one is not common. It only happens when the root pony breaks their roots by attacking another pony. The broken root stays in the wound, attaching itself into the flesh in an instant once it gets injected. The root grows into the flesh, attacking their legs and moving towards the organs. Most roots are smaller or bigger. It depends the attack as said, it does not happen often. The root ponies mostly kill the healthy ponies, turning them into moss like plants to spread further. Some root ponies even use their victim as food since they are extremely hungry due to the roots destroying the stomach, ripping everything apart. The new mutation stages have been discovered. Branch mutation, black vine mutation, and blossom mutation. So I'm guessing the one that had to do with Starlight was a vine mutation. So I'm guessing down the line, if more episodes are posted, which they could be, uh, Starlight's definitely infected. The branch mutation is common for the changelings when they get infected. They have the same symptoms, but only three stages. Second stage, and the third stage. After the, oh no, this is the first, never mind. At the first stage, there's nothing to be seen. At the start of the second stage, branches grow out their body, and at the third stage, they turn into a dead tree. Okay, no, that is the third stage then, more likely. The black vine mutation is a new found stage of mutation. It's extremely poisonous once they inject their vines into a pony, even an infected one. Once they finished injecting the poison, they are able to paralyze the pony, which is a 5% chance to survive. The mutation also only has three stages, but they have different way, or way different symptoms. The first stage is extreme limb pain, extreme tired, skin itching slash burning, migraine attacks. The second stage is limp stretched, coughing up vines, 
going blind, vomiting, loss of magic slash ability to fly. And the third stage is extreme hunger, loss of consciousness, and hostile. The Blossom mutation only has two stages. They are the most harmless infected known to study. Their beauty attracts healthy ponies even though they are dangerous and want to avoid any pony as possible. So it's very rare to see them, but mostly in swamps, meadows, and mountains. The infection is only possible when a pony eats an infected nasturtium, nasturtium, or something like that. Which infected nasturtiums are rare to find, but most of the time you can't see the infected spot on the flower. The symptoms are also harmless to them, not that the pain, not that painful like the other infections. The first stage is a slight headache, coughing up blossoms, tiredness, and anxiety. The second stage is roots grow out of their mouth and back. Blossoms form all over their skin. Slight back pain, going mute, good hearing, and extreme anxiety. I don't know how many mutations are there, but whatever mutation it is, avoid them as much as possible. I will study them further and hope we can help them. Written by Zakora. All right, interesting. So we got some actual like info on how the mutations work here. Um, I would say the worst definitely appears to be the first one when it comes to the changelings and the vine virus seems to be quite dangerous too. But it says this one, the third one, the blossom virus isn't as bad. Blossom one is the only hope. Yeah, pretty much. Moving on. This photo I took was near my hut, at least eight miles away. The photo shows the beauty of the blossom infection. Oh, it's pretty. It's actually beautiful to look at. So it's not dangerous. I mean, it's probably dangerous, but it's more pretty than you'd expect it to be. It's not as bad. Oh, to be a dead pony in the middle of the forest with flowers growing inside of me. So it's pretty but deadly. So I'm assuming that they're dead, but it is a beautiful thing to withhold. Gotta be careful eating them blossoms. But this is still pretty cool. I'm really glad that this is still going because this is one of my favorites, if not the top three. Uh, my favorite is still uh, the mind virus and scopophobia, but the black tree disease is definitely up there. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine either way. And that's all I really got to say. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck on life, I can't even make it perfect timing. I'm always sad, don't